Jazz One tells the story of one character, Hannah, but there are in fact two singers portraying the role of Hannah. And so we're approaching this story by having one singer play the character of Hannah as an adult, looking back on her life, reflecting on her memories. And the other singer will represent her intuition that she knows since childhood, but as, as we get older, our intuition becomes stronger. And, and so Hannah becomes more acquainted with her intuition. And in the end, they really find unity. Um, and of course, the end, they both sing as one. It's a coming of age story, and it has all of these beautiful moments of discovery for the main character. But what really stood out to me was also this idea of the healing process that I see running throughout the story that while Hannah, the lead character, looks back at her childhood and her early life, that she has all these memories. Some of them are good, some of them are painful, but what she has to do in order to find acceptance of herself in the end is to heal from each of those experiences and memories. And I, I find that's something that all of us can identify with. The idea of having to accept the good and the bad times that we've experienced and recognize that all of those moments work together to create the tapestry that is your life, that has made you the person that you are today. It's extremely important for us to center trans voices when telling this story. And we are honored to have both a trans female lead in the lead role, and also to have trans artists as part of our creative team, our conductor and designer. So. I feel that my role in directing this opera is unique and, and different than when I've directed other operas in the past. In this case, I, I see that I'm really a facilitator, trying to center the trans voices on our team and in the room and support the story that they would like to tell.